Welcome to this SCORE webinar. Uh, this is the first in a series on ownership design uh, provided through SCORE Mentors Green Bay. Hello, everybody. My name is Kyle Herzog. Like Lori said, I am in Green Bay and one of the co-founders of Old Fashioned Golf. Uh, we started in July 2020, so kind of in the midst of COVID, um, very much had some free time on our hands, so decided to start a business with it. We thought that in Wisconsin, there's a couple things that are unusually popular. Golf, which is weird because you can only golf like four months of the year, but it's extremely popular. And just our local pride. Everybody in Wisconsin sure loves Wisconsin. So we thought about combining those two to make a business. Of course, there is some Wisconsin themed golf apparel, but it's all kind of boring. It's a red shirt with a W on it and that's it. So we, we cranked that up a little bit. You can see by some of those designs there, some license plate themed ideas, something with the Great Lakes. We do some things with the state flag, a lot of things like that. Um, like I said, founded in 2020, founded during a round of golf, we came up with the idea. I will say one of the first things we did was talk to Lori and talk to SCORE. I have no entrepreneurial background, no business background. None of us really knew how to get this thing off the ground. So to kind of echo what you said, Lori, people who are getting started, reach out, reach out for help. Score is willing to help. It really helped me get things started. So we make golf polos, towels, hats, new one coming out soon. There you go. Sneak preview. Um, but uh, so we've been doing that since, since 2020, like we said, and we are a partnership. So the three co-founders you can see there. All of us lifelong friends, all of us from Wisconsin, and we came up with the idea together. So we formed it as a, as a partnership together. And I think like you see on the bottom left there, the partnership has been good for us because really one of the first things, there was three of us to share the cost <laughs> to start up. One of the hardest things as you get started is just how are we going to pay for this? And in a partnership, I think it was good that we had three people to put money into this to get started. I think that helped. Um, easy to understand. Really, it's a third of us or a third of it is owned by each of us. Kind of an easy business structure to, to wrap your mind around, I would say. Um, again, like I said, the startup funds were sure nice. We've got seven young kids and three wives between our three co-founders. So it was nice to not have to tell them we had to put a bunch of money into this. So that helped. Uh, more input for ideas. I think that was a big thing. As you're getting started, a partnership's great because you've got three heads to put ideas into things. And checks and balances. You'll have some really bad ideas as you get started. I can speak from experience. And it's nice to have two other people there to kind of check you on that, I would say. So, um, and how has it worked for us real quick on the bottom right there? We still own 100% of the business. It's been great because it's a partnership. We haven't needed outside funding, which has been nice. Those checks and balances have kept us from some really bad decisions. I will say on the downside, lack of experience slows us down at times. We haven't reached out for help and partners and outside funding, which maybe could have made us go faster at times. So that's maybe one of the downsides of partnership. But that's my story. Mm -hmm.